All right, good morning, everybody. I am uh, walking down to the pond. I kind of want to show you what uh, three weeks with one rain <laughs> has kind of done. So, trying to walk slow here so I don't get uh, oh, too much bumpy video, but pretty hard, pretty hard to hold. But you can get kind of an idea here of how low the pond is already. And it's uh, Sunday, the 3rd of March. Uh, pretty amazing. I measured it this morning and we're talking 34 inches. And that's at the deepest spot right here by the wall. As you get farther back, of course, it gets more shallow. We, the pond will probably be dry by the end of March, if not before then. Which, uh, I don't think has ever happened since we've had the pond and the wall up here. But that's kind of uh, a sign of the times here this year. Uh, no rainy season to speak of. I mean, when it rains in December and January, and that's pretty well it. It's kind of hard to call it a rainy season. Uh, just, uh, just a little break from the drought, as far as I can see. And like I said, 2018 was definitely the year of the drought. And of course the pond dried up last summer and we dug it out again and that so uh, we could get it down to oh I think it's 65 inches so you figure about five and a half foot at its deepest point. But uh, to see this this early in the year like I said usually the pond don't dry up till June or July and then we have a month or two and then of course the rain generally should kind of start September and October this year of course we really didn't start till December even though we got some good rain in June and everybody jumped on the bandwagon and planted rice and did all this stuff and uh well and it bombed for most everybody fortunately I didn't jump on that bandwagon and held off because it was just really the wrong time of year in order to get that kind of rain. But as you can see here, by the way the pond looks, and that, like I said, at the current rate, and we've been actually taking water out of the pond in order to water the pigs, and we used to do that out of the pool up by the house. But that's getting so low, uh, <laughs> I think I measured it this morning, 33 inches. That's getting so low that it also will be dry by the end of the month. So about three, four months early, which means uh, we could uh, really be in for uh, a devastating drought this year. It's kind of hard to imagine living on an island in the middle of the ocean, well I shouldn't say the middle of the ocean, in the western part of the Pacific Ocean and you can't get rain and you actually go through a drought. Pretty unusual. And then 2017 where we had the year of the rain where it really never did stop raining. So unusual and just absolutely what a wonderful year i didn't mind it a bit and we had uh out of the 12 months we had eight months i think where we had rain at least 18 to 20 days a month <laughs> yeah very amazing amazing and now completely just turned around and if you look at the sky today, yeah, blue, 
few clouds. Hot, but we're still getting those cool nights. Uh, the humidity is just kind of gone. Not much humidity at all, which is so unusual for uh, anywhere in the Philippines to have the humidity so low and it just sucks the moisture, like I said, out of everything because the sun is still so very hot. So I'm going to walk back over the dam here. But just wanted to show you kind of what's happening here. I wish I had more good news. <laughs> uh, but uh, it is definitely not looking good. And we've even started watering our uh, tomato plants and our pepper plants up in uh, the rice fields above up there where the beans were and that hoping uh, that they won't be killed by the extreme heat and the hot sun here. And that just takes more of the water out of the pond here. So, uh, like I said, it, it's I'm afraid it's going to be one of those years again. But that's part of uh, living here. And especially with this part of Bohol. And we've experienced the dry seasons here before, more often than not, to go uh, five, six months when basically the grass and everything dies and comes back to life after the first rain or two of the rainy season. So we've gotten used to the drought. It's just that uh, getting used to the prolonged drought that we seem to be in is uh, pretty amazing. And we can only hope that somehow the weather changes here and I don't know they can call it La Nina or El Nino or whatever they want to call it but uh, like I said the rain of 2017 kind of proved that it can happen here and we don't mind the four or five months of dry weather and drought because we generally got four or five months of uh, <laughs> tropical rain and storms and typhoons and everything else dumping water on us that replenished everything and just not happening. Uh, just not happening at all. A matter of fact, 2018 we had no typhoons even come close here in order to dump rain. Now if you're up in Luzon, north of Manila, yeah, you've gotten plenty of rain, but they seem to always get plenty of rain up there too. So I'm kind of back up on the hill up here. Just wanted to bring everybody up to date. It's kind of a slow, lazy Sunday again as we pretty well caught up with most everything here. It's just uh, that start of that season where we kind of repair everything, uh, <laughs> put back together the things that have kind of broken or fallen down, and starting the compost piles. And soon I'll be taking the compost and turning the soil in the garden and getting it ready, hopefully for the fall and another growing season here. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens, and we'll keep you up to date on everything happening here. We still call this a tropical paradise, and as you look around, I'm still so happy of where we are, and we're here. Oh, there's always a few bumps in the road, and this is just part of the bumps in the road of living where we're living. So... From the back of the camera, I'm going to say goodbye. Everybody have a great Sunday today. And uh, God bless everybody. 
and hopefully I'll be back again yet today. So goodbye for now and God bless.